Okay, so um, it goes without saying that the Mind Robber episode two is utterly amazing, um, and uh, we could just touch upon how brilliant Troughton is. We could talk about uh, Jamie's face changing, which is both hilarious and clever and brilliant. We could talk about uh, the Stranger and how brilliant a character that is and how clever that is. Um, we could talk about any of it, and it's just perfect. It is just perfect. What I really want to talk about, though, is this. Um, there's a moment in this episode that has always uh, resonated with me, and uh, and it's when Troughton's stood at the wishing well, and he goes, uh, I wish, I wish, I wish I believed in wishing wells. And uh, there's just something about that moment that has always just sent shivers down my spine. And I've worked on what it is today. I've always known it, it, it was such a sort of transcendentally doctorish moment. Uh, and I could never really suss out why. And tonight I worked it out is because it just reminds me, lock, stock and barrel, of McCoy, <laughs> of all people. Uh, and isn't Doctor Who a wonderful thing? It can do that. You know, this the same man stretched across time. Uh, and my doctor, I mean, let's be honest, I mean, I love all the doctors and I love, perhaps, like the interpretation of the doctors more, but McCoy's my doctor. He's the one I, I got into. And that was McCoy. It, for a minute, or maybe McCoy was Troughton, or, or whatever it is, but... <laughs> Just something, and for a second, for a brief second, I'm ten years old again. And for a second, that magic that I still can feel now and again about Doctor Who, like uh, you know, when there's a season, the first episode of a season, or there's a, a regeneration, or or something just big happens, and it's just all of a sudden, I'm ten years old again, and I'm in the playground, and I'm going to talk to Paul, or a bit later, I'm going to talk to John. Just, just. There's just something so magical about this program. I wish, I don't know who you are watching this, but whoever you are, you may well be into Doctor Who, you might have the same feelings as me. If you're not into Doctor I don't know why you'd be watching if you're not into Doctor Who. Whatever it is in your life that keeps that magic of childhood alive, that sort of unadulterated, uh, untarnished, blissful, ignorant, magical, whatever it is, don't ever lose that. It's just so precious. So, so lovely, now and again, to have that wide-eyed, anything-could-happen moment. Brilliant. My Robert, superb.